ladies and gentlemen, Mr. White. Yeah, why do I do that? Mike Wilmoff. Wilmoff. For the Phoenix bit. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. My, my name is Mike Wilmoth, and I'm the bid chair for Phoenix in 2014 NESPIC. Um, we've got uh, Magnus and Loki by Sarah Clemens as our um, graphic theme for the bid. Um, having a cat and dragon is sort of an indicator of diversity. And our theme is infinite diversity for the convention. Uh, the Phoenix area, most everybody's from somewhere else. So there's a lot of diversity in Phoenix, uh, including Canadians, Mexicans, uh, Central Americans. So it's a wide variety of uh, people who live there now. Uh, very few natives like me. Um, I'd be the, I'm the bid chair. Should we win, I'd be the con chair. Um, I've got uh, chairing experience with uh, World War 2004, World Fantasy 2004, WesterCon 2009, and two of the three were at the bid site, which I'll talk about in a minute. And I've been uh, treasurer and programming and hotel liaison for a lot of conventions at various uh, regionals and uh, locals. Our bid treasurer is Bruce Farr. Many of you know him through WorldCon. Uh, he's uh, chaired the CactusCon NASPIC in 87 in Phoenix, uh, WesterCon in 92 that was there, and the World Fantasy 2001 in uh, Montreal. Um, he was also involved with his co-chairs with the World Fantasies in Tucson. Um, he's been treasurer and financial division head for numerous World Cons, Western Cons, and um, he's done a lot of hotel liaison, liaising and uh, facilities for World Cons and Western Cons. Here's the bid team. Uh, I think there's one or two missing since we've updated this slide. But um, uh, that gives you an idea of how many people are involved with the bid throughout North America. Uh, bid team experience, you can see we've got a couple past Worldcon chairs that are supporting the bid. Uh, we've got uh, most of the NASPIC chairs, um, many of the uh, past Westercon chairs, uh, past World Fantasy chairs, and past World Horror chairs. So we've got a lot of experience at running um, world level events. Uh, this gives you an idea of the bid team and what kind of experience they have. Uh, Worldcon's the first column, NASPIC's the second column. The next two columns are WesterCon experience, World Fantasy experience, and then World Horror experience. So we've got a lot of experience on the bid committee. Um, for Phoenix and Tempe, here's a list of things that you can see and do between uh, history, science, cultural museums, art galleries, theaters, zoo, etc. There's a lot of different things that go on uh, in the Phoenix area that you can go see and do while visiting, should we win. Within Arizona, we've got a large number of national monuments and memorials. Uh, you can see everything from uh, Canyon de Chez in the Northeast to, of course, the Grand Canyon, uh, national parks, uh, petrified forest, uh, historical sites and trails, recreation areas, and heritage areas throughout the state. There's quite a bit in Arizona. Um, the proposed dates are the first weekend in August, basically Thursday, July 31st through August 3rd, 2014. So it would be two weeks before London. Um, room rates are 99 a night, US, single quad, plus tax, including all the suites. Um, hotel services include uh, free airport shuttle, free parking, free Wi-Fi, that's self-parking, valet parking, and we also have RV parking for people who come with RVs. Um, we've got a restaurant in the hotel. We've got a lounge in the hotel. And because it's in downtown Tempe, which is a university town, there are about 75 restaurants within a half a mile. So there's no lacking for places to go to that are very close by. Uh, here are some photos of the hotel, the front entrance on the left, <coughs> uh, the hotel ballroom on the right. I uh, would be using the ballroom for dealers or Marcho programming. Uh, the east lobby, uh, where we're probably locate registration, you can see the front desk to the right rear in the photo. And the west lobby, which is just outside the lounge, 
all indoors there. Uh, the courtyard patio is looking, this is a shot looking northeast from just outside the lounge across to the northeast corner. And you can see what the restaurant looks like. Um, they also have an overflow area we're going to be using for programming. Uh, this is an example of the function space. All the function space on the first floor, that's the left side, except for three small rooms on the second floor on the right side. Uh, the hotel's in a square ring, so all of the uh, sleeping rooms are on floors two, three, or four, and they either look into the courtyard or look out away from the courtyard. Uh, standard king photo on the left, uh, executive double on the right. An executive room is about 25% larger than a normal room, so it's got some living room furniture at the back end. Gives you a little bit more room. They have executive kings and executive doubles, and of course they have standard kings and doubles. Uh, junior suite are in the corners in the south end of the hotel, and they're um, smaller than the largest suites, but they're larger than executives, and they're really nice um, locations uh, just off the corner through a little hallway. Uh, the one bedroom suite is an example of what we're going to be using for con suite and uh, parties. Um, most of the suites and executives are on the northern half of the hotel, so we're planning to make the northern half of the hotel the, the party area. And for those of you who were at Westercon in 2009, you'll be familiar with these. And they've done a lot of remodeling of all the rooms, so they're really very nice. Uh, we've got pre-support levels to support the bid in increments of $20, as you can see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. All of them give you credit toward attending, should we win the vote. And um, uh, if you pre-support and vote, we'll lock you in at the lowest rate for attending. And if you do one or the other, we lock you in at a slightly higher rate but still discounted off of the option of neither supporting, pre-supporting, nor voting. So we've got a lot of different options. We've got a bit t-shirt that uses the Magnus and Loki uh, image, as you've seen. And uh, I thank you for your time. <laughs>